Oh my god. Oh! Yay! Yay! Am so I feeling overwhelmed? Yes, I am. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Yeah. Good morning and happy Monday. Welcome back to another vlog. I look like Casper the ghost, Jesus. I am just about to go over for my first proper workout of 2022. I've booked myself in for a Pilates class with Platinum Pilates. I haven't done it in months and months and it's such a nice workout because I haven't done it in a while and I'm definitely feeling stiff as a board. I am gonna do the level one for maybe one or two classes just to make sure my form and everything like that is good to go. They definitely focus more on the basics, which is really important. And if you don't have the basics, then you can't, you know, nail the other workouts. All going well in this vlog, we will get the keys and the sale will be officially completed. There's always a few final things that need to be like signed off by both solicitors before they can release them. I think there's like a final check or something of the property. So in order to distract myself today, I'm going to go to Pilates. I have a little bit of work to do. I wanna make a goat's cheese and caramelized onion tart, which I've never done before. Again, this new cooking thing is actually sticking incredibly well, but I better go now because I don't wanna be late for Pilates. I will talk to you afterwards. So I'm back from Pilates and I'm absolutely wrecked. That was the level one and my legs, arms, bum, like everything is so tired. I'm not achy yet, but I know I'm gonna be achy tomorrow. And like it wasn't, I really don't think it was too difficult to class. I just, I'm very out of practice. The aim is to do at least one class a week just to build some sort of consistency. I'm sitting down here because I have some deliveries that I wanted to show you. Um, and some of them are house related, some of them aren't, but I thought we could go through them because it would be fun. So the first thing is something that is from Emu Australia. They are a shoe brand. They do like really amazing shearling uh, sheepskin boots. And look at these. This is the Stinger Mini from Emu. I've had these before and have used them as slippers indoors or for like bopping around, but I'm super excited that these style of shearling shoes are coming back into fashion. I mean, they're already back in style. I see them all over my TikTok. I love how they look when they're styled with like really casual, cozy winter looks. Love. How cute. And I really like the mini cutoff style. I think the mini style is really cool. So yeah, I'm really excited to wear them and to style them up into some cute, cozy athleisure outfits. So I'll link these below if you wanna check them out. They also come in a gorgeous charcoal gray, a black, and I think a, a brown coffee color as well. They're fab. And I'll also link the protector spray because I think if you wanna wear these as outdoor shoes, I think it's really worth getting a can of that spray and it's not expensive. So the other thing that I have here are some bits from Amazon. I have one fitness thing that I'm going to show you and these are some ankle slash wrist weights. They are basically a dupe for the Bala bands, which I will link. I'll put a picture of them up here. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory. They're just a weighted arm or ankle band, but the minimal style of these is really, really nice. And the Bala bands are super popular. So these I think are just one pound per band, really not too heavy. I should be able to wear these on a walk or like doing bits around the house. And they come in a really nice pink color and um, there's loads of other colors as well. I will link them Low, and they were very affordable as well. I think they were under 20 euro. Bala bands, I believe, are like 100 to 150. So I thought I would go with the less expensive option. I will wear these and report back. So I will let you know in another video how I'm getting on. Everything else is kind of cooking related. These are cutting boards. And the idea is that you chop away on the surface and then you can fold it if you want to tip all your ingredients in, which is something that I've been noticing when I've been doing a lot of chopping. This can also be used as like a colander if you wanna drain off some of the liquid, which I thought was quite handy. It could be shocking, but the reviews are good. So next up, I picked up one of these. This is called a Mezzaluna Herb and Salad Chopper. Um, I was actually expecting this to be a little bit bigger, but I'm sure it's fine. The chopping has kind of been the bane of my life with a lot of the cooking because 
we don't have great knives. So if anybody has any recommendations, please let me know in the comments. I would love that because my knives are shite. So we really need to upgrade them. So I picked up two pie tins. These are from the Masterclass brand. This one is a deep pie tin. And then this one is a crusty bake. It says no more soggy bottom. Uh, quiche tin. They both have perforations in them, which I think is key when you are um, baking pies and stuff because they're vented so the air gets in so like the pastry cooks better. This is something that I'm only now learning. And then this quiche tin actually has one of the removable bottoms, which is pretty handy, I think, if you're popping your quiche out or something. I don't know. My first pie went so well. And then this, this is so lame, but I have no shame. So this is for like making molds of pastry to put on top of pies. I'm not able to do those amazing intricate designs like my mum can do them, but I cannot. You know the little like leaves and stuff that people decorate their pies with? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clear away all this packaging and I'm gonna get started on making my goat's cheese and caramelized onion tart. is ready to go into the oven. We have some goat's cheese, roasted tomatoes, caramelized onions. I did the tomatoes and onions yesterday. And then I have short crust pastry, I think that's what it's called. Never done this before. Not sure if I followed the steps correctly, but we're gonna pop it in for 20 minutes and see how she turns out. I think it's time to take it out. It's done. It looks good. So excited okay so it's the next day we were supposed to get the keys yesterday but there was like a really small um minor delay and we didn't get them yesterday which is totally fine that's these things happen all the time but i just got a call from the estate agent and i can go down and pick up the keys from her in her office in dunleary so i can go and get the keys oh my god i'm so buzzed okay i need to get ready and go down and get them i'm so excited it's we're going so over to the house for the first time so we have the keys woo, woo, in our paws I brought a bottle of champagne but we forgot cups so we don't know if there's cups there but the aim of this visit is to figure out what we need to do first because we actually don't fully know what's going to be there or what's going to be taken we had like a basic inventory but we still don't know like what we're going to need to get and we want to do um, a big lock change as well which is I think quite an important thing to do when you move in just for extra security. How are we, you feeling? Yeah, amazing. I, I just want to go in and it's all doesn't really feel real until you're in I there. Know, so it looking really forward to doing that. Everything else after that, sure, we'll figure there, it out. Go on. Off you go. We'll figure it out as we go along. Exactly. Jeez, that looks like someone I know. Do you know him? No. We're here! It sounds really echoey in here. Yeah. Um, they left us a little welcome pack. There's some letters that um, have already arrived for us that I think were to do with the purchase and documents and stuff. But we also have a little card, which is so sweet. So we're gonna open it. Oh. This is so sweet. Oh my God, oh. how cute. Best of luck to you both. Hope you have many years of happiness. I'm actually gonna cry, that's so sweet of them. Uh, we actually brought Remy as well. Are you happy? Wait, we show you the garden. Oh my God, she's not gonna know herself. She's never had a garden before. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna um, just have a quick check around the house, show Remy the garden and show her the rest of the house. Ah! But we're in! <laughs> I honestly don't even know what to tell you. This it feels wild. so weird. This do you feel, also feel like it's not real? I feel like I shouldn't be here. Like I know that this house comes with a double door fridge freezer. Like this is so cool. We have put the most important two things in it. Two bottles of champagne. She saw a cat in the in the garden. Remy, what do you think? Already making friends. She's already seen the neighbor's cat. She doesn't know what to think. Uh, oh my god. Yay! Initial house check has gone super well. They have like cleaned it out so so well. Um They've only left the things that they said they were gonna leave, if that makes sense. Uh, but we do have a list now of things that we need to get immediately. One of them being a washing machine, because we do not have one. 
So we need to get that done. Beds. And we need to get a bed and we need to get a table and two chairs. Internet. And the internet. You're gonna handle all that. And we need... I've written a list. There's a lot, yeah. There's no point listing everything that we need. Yeah. We need a lot. Like... We also need to come Am I feeling overwhelmed? Yes. Yes, I am. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Uh, yeah, we need to do a lot. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we're gonna do go and do that and Ooh. we'll touch base later, but yeah. We're delighted to say the least.